Hello family, this is Dr. Julian Hunt coming at you first thing in the morning, just helping uh, a guy move here, medical student, move into uh, New York. Hats off to him on completion of his medical degree. And I was helping him out, helping out my fellow medical professional here. But I just wanted to drop this into to your spirit, hopefully through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brought it to me. He expressed so much appreciation to me about my willingness to come out, helping out, actually showing up. <laughs> you know how that is sometimes. Uh, you know, and also I brought my vehicle, my SUV, because he has a small compact car. I have brought in by Dolly. He didn't have a Dolly. But it just showed me three things that I wanted to just share here. Number one, in the Christian life, not only in the Christian life, in life in general, make sure you're in the right vehicle, you know? Uh, let's, let me give you an example. I could say, you know, a lot of people say, hey, I want to be rich. I'm going to be rich someday. But what vehicle are you going to use to become rich? Is it going to be real estate? Is it going to be business? Stock market investing? You know, there's so many different ways to do it. But what vehicle is right for you? What vehicle is right for me might not be what's right for you. So make sure you discover and you get into the right vehicle and you become a student of that vehicle, okay? So the second thing was, the Lord dropped in my spirit, not only you have to be in the right vehicle, make sure you have the right tools. You're using the right tools. In our instance, we were using the dolly, which saved us a lot of sweat, <laughs> a lot of sweat equity, a lot of time. Uh, we were able to knock it out in less than an hour, everything that had to be moved, okay? So make sure you have the right tool because that gives you the right leverage so you don't spend or waste as much time as you could possibly believe without that leverage, okay? Sometimes the leverage is other people's experiences, being able to leverage their experiences uh, and learn from others. One, one writer said it like this, wise men learn from the, their own mistakes, but the wisest men learn from the mistakes of others. You know, leverage. Number three, and this is kind of connected to number two, but in a different way, uh, the right people. Make sure you rely on the right people. If you don't rely on the right people, you could be very disappointed. <laughs> so all of us need one or two people that when they say they're going to show up, you know 100% certain they will show up. <laughs> so uh, again, those three things, critical, right vehicle, right tool, and the right people, okay, to any uh, successful endeavor. So hopefully this blesses somebody. I got to get home, got to get shaven, of course, and uh, get ready for the rest of the day. All right, God bless you folks.